So I was talking to a friend of mine, and she was telling me a story about how her sister fucked up her favorite pillow when she was a kid, right? And the pillow wasn't shit. It was old as hell. It wasn't comfy or cute, but she was mad. And she said, and I quote, I know it was a bum-ass pillow, but it was my bum-ass pillow. And that had me thinking. Is this how girls feel when they're with a bum-ass nigga? That gotta be it, because they know it's a bum-ass nigga. Their friends tell them, their family tell them, strangers tell them. Hey, girl, you... You know he not shit, right? You know he be fucking these hoes. He be slipping, sliding through your friends' DMs and shit. He broke. He ugly. The Sigmas denied him. Well, like, why, why is he with this nigga? But she don't want to hear none of that shit. You know why? Because all she knows is that y'all trying to take away something that's hers. Because she knows he's some trash. But that's okay, because it's not him that she really likes. She likes the fact that he wants her in whatever capacity that he does. It's the feeling of being wanted that she enjoys. Especially if her self-esteem isn't where it should be. That's, that's bum-ass nigga territory. Because he knows that you need him more than he needs you. So he could be off living the happy fuckboy life. Knowing that you ain't going nowhere. Like let's say there was a girl who just knew she had some whack-ass pussy. And some nigga pops up in her life out the blue and tells her this. Hey, you know you got the best pussy in the world, right? Can't get enough of that shit. How you think she gonna react to that? For real. And just like that, she's caught. She is on the leash. So to conclude, ladies, love yourself. Especially before you let someone else love you. Because then you'll feel reliant upon their love to keep you going. Because when his love for you dies, or changes into something that you don't like, I promise it's going to hurt really, really bad. So it all starts with you.